those uh, excavation squares um, in case uh, you have expected that we are digging a, a large field. No, we are not doing that. Mm -hmm. uh, we dig very carefully, very slow. We don't want to miss anything. And so we dig in very controlled uh, small units. And uh, the first step is to get an overview of what's actually underneath there. What can we expect? How deep can we dig? What kind of finds, if any, will come up? And do we see the lives and the behaviors and the subsistence of those early prehistoric people that once settled in this uh, cave? By identifying the species of the shells that we find in these shell mittens, we can actually uh, reconstruct the environment right in front of the cave, sea levels, and if we can uh, reconstruct possible sea levels, then we can also make our interpretation about the timeline. We work uh, in a very uh, collaborative uh, system, so we, we uh, work together with experts uh, in, in various disciplines. So we have uh, biologists who, of course, who specialize in maybe marine fauna, yeah. and they will tell us everything we need to know about the shells or the fish remains, the fish bones we find. Uh, likewise, we have zoologists or specialists that, that deal with really the uh, fauna remains that appear in, in archaeological sites and bring them in, that's very important, not just identify the animal, but also bring it in context mm. with the humans that used or caught or, or ate them. The important part is really to, to uh, produce results, to produce uh, good data, to uh, reconstruct our own past because it's um, it's not it's not just our uh, history and our prehistory it's the history of every one of us 